Who's there? It's me, Mr. Martin. Did you hear it too? Hear it? I haven't slept a wink all night. There it is again. It sounds like a xylophone. Whatever it is, I don't like it. McNose, was that you making all that noise? No, sir. Maybe it's your Uncle Mosby. <laughs> What's he doing here? My Uncle Mosby was shot in the Civil War. You know that. I know he was a band leader, too, and he still makes music. It's unfair to the rest of the family. When a man is gone, he ought to stay in the graveyard of where he belongs. Oh. Are you sure your Uncle Mosby was shot? That's what we always thought. <laughs> That's what I thought it was all the time. That's why you slept last night in the lawn? What kept you out there? Uncle Mosby. Yeah. Mr. Martin, it's the bar downstairs and see the house. Right down, Magnolia. I should have armor, right? And I've got something to talk about, you know. And Magnolia. Then I've got to say something. Oh, thank you. Don't be talking to all this. Altogether, I'm sure you'll find this a very, very nice, quiet little place. Constabule of the village idiot. I'm the Constabule. During the Civil War, Stonewall Jackson presented those to my Uncle Mosby. For being the best xylophone player. Yes. Bandmaster. All I ever heard was a xylophone. You take care of the inventory. I'll give the family history. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what's the price on these? The pair is listed at $2,000. <laughs> Look at the workmanship, inlaid with silver. $2,000, very, very reasonable. <laughs> yeah. Miss Smith, this is a business meeting. I'm sorry, Mr. Martin. Sorry, nothing. But... <clears throat> Think of the history of those things. Originally brought over by General Lafayette to George Washington. <laughs> George Washington gave him to his son, and his son gave him to his son. <laughs> they... Look. Of <laughs> Go sit down, please. Go sit down somewhere, please. The son gave him to Stonewall Lafayette. They, they, no, they, the father. They, not the... Well, anyway, my Uncle Mosby got them. Really, I hate to let go of them. Oh, oh, that's a shame. Had them for 70 years. There wasn't a scratch on them. This will come out of your salary. <laughs> Look. 
Constable! Thanks. My Uncle Mosby knew this. He'd probably turn right over in his grave. <laughs> Shut up, shut up! The, the dinner is served. Uh... The, the guests are dinner. Take them to dinner, Miss. This is a lovely dinner. Thanks. Mr. <laughs> Martin, I like this place. Oh. You know, I went to After a party one time. Miss, After a good night, night fest, Miss Cummings, I'm sure you... I a, you know, little thing like that right oh. in the hat. Oh, saying, uh, Miss Cummings, uh, after a good night... they all started laughing like, oh, you know how they go. And then oh, they can go right... Huh? Please. Well, Mr. Cummings, tell me. I said, please. Oh. Where was I? After a good night, please. Yeah. <clears throat> After a good night, thrash here, Mr. Cummings. I know you're just going to love this place. You know... Uh, <laughs> my sin attic. You set those mice traps? Yeah, eight of them. You'll never catch what's playing that with a mouse trap. Uh, you see, uh, my Uncle Mosby was a great musician in the Civil War. And after he died, he left a lot of his instruments up there, see? <laughs> left them? He's up there with them. And, uh, you know, the, the mice, you know, they hop all over them and uh, got a cute, eh? Uh... <laughs> How strange. Oh, I don't know. You know, they... Those are mice that should be in vaudeville. Oh, they're good. You ought to hear them play peasants and poets. <laughs> and you say that 300 acres goes with the house? Uh, yes, that's right, Mr. Cummings. That's a lot of oil property. Uh, I mean, Earl, that's good property. <laughs> say, in the morning, I'll show you the finest grove of pines you ever saw. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Don't you like to hear the whiff windle through the pines? <laughs> Sounds kind of scary, yeah. Uh, can't you look out for that cigarette? You... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, my foot. It has a restful atmosphere. Yes. Wouldn't your uncle be surprised if you came back today? <laughs> they, they never come back. Once they're gone, they're uh, supposed to stay away. Oh! Oh! My, oh! My. oh! I think there is. I know there is. Oh. It's just my fault. Excuse me. Oh. <coughs> did, did it touch you, too? Touch me. I'm holding it. Uh. <laughs> You to shut it out. It's your house. Take your gun. It doesn't look like Uncle Mosby.
me some of those clothes. You've got to get out of here. You big coward. Just give me some of those. This is the worst thing I've ever had in my life. Why didn't he answer that door? The big coward. I'll answer it myself. Anything wrong? Wrong. I'm going cuckoo. If you marry me, you'll be the best protected person in this county. Oh, what an hour for a proposal. True love has no hours. If that's for me, tell him I'm not here. <laughs> Let go. I see. Are you alone? No. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, practically. Well, as long as you're all right, Frank and I better get to bed. Good night. They're gone. Oh, that was a close call. Remember, no matter what happens, I must tell you what's nearest my heart. And you better let us out first. <laughs> Come this way. Let's run. I can't. I can. Don't. Good evening, Constable. Good evening, Rover. Jones is the name. Wouldn't surprise me if he said he was the Queen of Sheba. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Look. I can't. Please look. Step you. My head. My head. You're all right. 
trying to write something on you. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Ah! It's not the manager. Look out! Look out! this all about? Your property here is full of oil, and they're trying to get it. Oil? Yes. Uh, now I understand. Uncle Mosby, ghost. My son and all over those... Hey, never point a gun at nobody, will you, please? I love you. Uh, my son... My son... Suffering cats. Crazy! Oh, Mr. Martin! Mr. Martin! Wait a minute, I forgot. It's me. Your secretary, Marge. And future daughter-in-law. <laughs> I'm through with this police business. 